Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Sandy Bay Gold Edition. So in the previous two episodes we've been doing that big harvest in field number 20 which is now complete. I have brought back the machinery which we need. Everything else is rented so it will just disappear or if we need it again then we can just go and fetch it from field 20. But really today what we need to do is we need to go and pick up those silage birds which we did. That was uh, probably about three or four episodes back now and I don't really want to use this auto stacker. It's just not big enough. So it's good, it's a good auto stacker, but it's just too small. So what I would like to do is uh, use Bullet Bill's Marshall trailer because it can it can stack them easier. Now I'm not actually sure if that one there is the right version, that could just be Giants' version. So I'm going to have to just check. But what I really want is the one which auto stacks. Uh, and I think probably the best tractor for that is the JCB because it's fast. So probably going to be doing quite a lot of work today in the JCB. And also I'd just like to do a quick update on the livestock just to see how they're doing. Yeah, that's just the standard trailer. So we're going to go to the store. Those birds are falling off. They need to be put back on. Uh, we're going to go to the store. We're going to go and buy it. We've now got more money, which is very helpful. Um, and there is the grain we have in storage. A few of you just wanted to know how much we had in there, so I'll just quickly have a look again. I did look yesterday, but it's 186,079 litres. Quite a lot. There is quite a lot of money just sat there, but we're waiting for the price to go up and hopefully to get great demand as well. So um, actually for now, we might as well shut these, these doors up. We don't need to have them open. There we go, so that's going to keep it all dry. Now um, if we just go on to the last page, I think it is on here, we've got beef and pigs. As you can see, both of them have got one slaughter weight, which means one is ready to be sold. Productivity is 100%, as you would expect, as we have enough of everything. It's now also producing the manure and the slurry, because we've given them straw. And also our other man animals, the chickens, sheep and cows, 89% productivity for the cows. 105% productivity for the chickens and 110% productivity for the sheep. And we actually have quite a lot of them, just not chickens. We only have 11. Um, that is just because <laughs> they're just chickens. We're not getting it, getting too much out of them. I probably will buy some more though. They're really not expensive. Actually, just notice that the water for the chickens is empty. So we might have to do that today as well. But first of all, let's just go over to the shop. Let's go and buy that trailer. And let's get that field cleared. We're going to keep some of the silage bales. We do need to keep quite a lot actually, because we do need silage quite a bit. But then, also, a lot of them will be sold. So by the end of this episode, financially, we should be doing very well. Let's buy that trailer. I always find it hard to find which trailer it is because I've bought quite a lot of them. I think it's in Bailing Technology. I think it is, I'm not too sure. But as a guess, as it says we own one of the green ones, um, I would guess that those three there are Giants' version and the cheaper ones are Bullet well, Bill's version. So that's quite unfortunate that I dropped the price. Uh, but it's just one of those things. We'll check and see if it is the right one. Go for a red one. Really didn't want to be doing that. Yep, that is correct. So that is the right trailer. Just totally the wrong price. So we need to go up to field number four. Just thinking if this is the quickest way. It's probably the most boring way to go right, actually, because that's where we always go. We'll go left out of here. Hopefully we don't get sideswiped by a train. The track is clear today. Yeah, so going left here, we'll go via the shop. Oh, not the shop, the store, actually, the cell point. So, uh, a bit different to normal. We turn left, and then we have to go up that really steep road. And then field number four is at the top of that steep road.
Yeah, it's past all the convenience stores and other shops like that. And then somewhere here on the left. Yeah, just here. So I know I've been using this trailer quite a lot, in fact I've been doing a lot of bear work recently. Um, it's just because we've been trying to get the, the produce to really get the productivity of our livestock up. Uh, that is the only reason I've been doing so many bales. Next time, I'm going to do some square bales. I think I'm going to use that Matthew Ferguson baler, which I've used once before. I think I had it on Melbury Estate. So we can do some square ones instead of continually doing the round ones. Makes it a bit different because we've got field number 20 to bale. That is a big field. So here is a field full of what looks to be about 40 or 50 bales. Let's get the information page open. So the product type, we need to change to, I think it's, it's either hay round bales, grass round bales, or silage bales. Yeah, silage bales. So the product type turns out to be round mixed bale, um, as we found out on Court Farms. So we'll put automatic loading on, we'll start it up, and it should have picked up our bales. There it goes. We have got to limit this to, I think it's 15 miles per hour. So I'll do that now. Really, not much skill to this, but it really does stack the trailer well. Makes it a lot easier. So the first load, we will take over to Willow Farm and we will just drop, we will keep them all. Not gonna sell any of the first load. I think one trailer load will be plenty. So once we've done that, anything else which is left we will sell and we'll really reap the rewards because there is a lot of money in these things. We get 30 per trailer. That is uh, 14, one more and it's half full. And that's 15. This field has probably got to be one of the best for the view. And I think that's field 20 down there, that great big golden field. I think that is the field we've just harvested. We'll get some other ones out of the hedgerow. And that's 25, five more. In fact, that's not going to leave many, is it? We're going to. We're going to struggle to actually have many to sell. I guess we don't need to keep them all, but I will do for now because I need to have a stock of these things. Otherwise, we're going to have to continually do more bales. And I don't want to have to keep doing bales. Two more, and it will leave four or five. What have we got left? We've got one there. And three down there, so four. <laughs> we'll have four to sell. Very impressive. But yeah, there's still six thousand or so pounds each. So actually, it would still be quite a lot of money that. I've just got to find a good place for them. They can stay outside. Really don't need to worry about putting them under cover. So I think just find a good space in the yard and get it done. Someone mentioned in yesterday's video about the sugar beet we planted. And that got me thinking. Is the sugar beet still there? I seriously hope it is. Because of all the work we've done, that would be such a shame if we have lost it. Whew. That is lucky. Yeah, it's still there. All of it, and also our rolling is still in effect, so yeah, that's good. I got worried then. I was really worried when I read that comment. 
if we had done all that work for nothing, it would have been such a shame. But no, it's all there, so on the 10th of March, or 10th, maybe, no, it'd be the 11th probably actually, we'll be doing a very large harvest, sugar beet harvest with the Holmer DLC. 10th of March I'll do a review, 11th of March I'll do the first episode on Sandy Bay with the DLC. And I think actually if we put these up against the shed, they're completely out of the way and it's a good place for them because this is one of the places where they're needed. So I will have to put the automatic help on just so I know exactly where it's going to unload it to. Uh, unloading side is toggled by M. That's right. Just need to line it up. How is that looking? That looks okay. Um, let's just have a look at the space. We don't want to be too close to the barn in case there's some kind of spoiling issue and they'll fly about everywhere but yeah that should be okay I will save the game just in case we've just got a great demand for beef it's a shame we only have one cow which is ready to sell uh, maybe we'll get that again in the future so let's unload um, I've saved the game we need to press oh it's actually changed our unloading type yep so I think we will uh, unload the product there. That looks quite neat. I like that. That looks good. We'll just get out and inspect the work. I could never stack it like that with the telehandler. No way at all. If I place the telehandler next to it, I could make it look like on the thumbnail that I've done all that my, on my own without using any mods at all. Oh, that would trick everyone. Oh no, wait, you've already seen the thumbnail. It would still look good. If only I actually could stack it like that. I could practice one day and try and attempt to do that. It would look so good. Or it, the actual achievement would feel good, actually. I think it's probably easier in real life, actually. I've, I've done similar things before. And uh, family simulator does seem to be harder. In real life. But anyway, let's go back to field number four, pick up those last the remaining four bales, only four left, and we'll sell them over here. We'll see what we can get. I can't remember what size we did them in. If it's only 1.3, they're about five thousand pounds each. But that is still about twenty thousand, so that's pretty good. That brings us up to eighty thousand or so. And the ploughing video, a lot of you keep asking. When am I going to be doing ploughing? Well, I have attempted it before, and like I said, I was having a bit of trouble with that plough. Uh, whether or not it was the real terrain mod, or the tractor I was using, or maybe the plough itself, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of people did say that it was the plough, so I might get a smaller plough, and we could do some ploughing with the class or something. With the class axiom. But obviously, if I'm going to do that, it doesn't want to be a very big field, because it would take forever. Make sure I've got every bale. I think the rest of the field is cleared. Just one up here. And then back to the yard and see what we can actually get for this. So that's field four finished with for now. We will probably cut it again in the future. But I do like to do different fields. Keep it more interesting. We'll shut the gate as we um, we probably won't be coming back for a while. It still needs to grow as well. There are actually a lot of grass fields. It's just I don't own that many. Like I mentioned before, field 17 looks good. Field 10, which is not obviously a great field, I still like the look of that. So I might buy that soon. Uh, field 25 also looks good. Can't really drive with the map up. And 
Now as this is Sunday Bay Gold Edition, I haven't actually looked at the Bay or Sell points since I was last here, so they might have moved. It used to be in here. Just check. Yep, yeah, good, it's still there. We've still got the baler here. But yeah, probably won't be using that baler again for a while. Would have really liked to get the Matty Ferguson baler. Square baler. Now that should be in enough. I'll try it at that. So, oh, there were, there were 6,432 pounds per bale, which has actually brought us up to 85,672. That just makes you wonder how much we'd have actually got out of the entire trailer load. It must have cost a fortune. But yeah, that is not the best place to sell, apparently. Apparently, Biotech is the best place, so if we're going to sell a bulk, bulk load of them, we would probably take them to Biotech, just because you get so much more. Apparently, it's something like 20,000 pounds per bale, which is just crazy amounts. But as we only had four, I think that was the easiest option. So uh, we better leave this trailer at this yard because we've still got the green one over at the other yard. So I'll reverse it up into the store back there. It can be quite a tricky one to turn around in tight spaces. It doesn't turn very tight. And there is our water bowser which we're going to have to fill up and take it over to our chickens. We'll probably buy some more actually now. Gives us something else to do. And I would say 32% is probably enough for our chickens. They don't really take that much water. They need a lot of water, but in small quantities for them. They're little beaks, they can't gobble up too much. And it's starting to go dark. I have increased the time, the time speed, so that things become more productive, we get more slaughter weight for the animals and stuff. I would like to do a bit of selling of them, but obviously they're not ready yet, so just speed up the process a bit. If we can keep going like this, getting more money all the time, uh, then we'll be able to buy a lot more fields. Just a bit wary of being able to afford the uh, Holmer DLC pack. I can imagine the equipment in that is quite expensive, so we are going to have to consider that. I uh, don't really want to be renting, but we could do. Just depends how we're doing. These sheep have two wool pallets. They've got this one here, and they've got one over in the middle of the field. So I'll have to remember that when it comes to selling them. However, the chickens, they are today's priority. They've got the grain, but <gasps> no water. I'll buy more first, otherwise it won't give them the correct amount. So um, we'll go into the store on animals and I'm just going to keep spamming the enter key. I won't bore you with it though. I think we'll probably go with 150. They're only 70 pounds each. And 150. 150 chickens. Doesn't really look like it's 150 but there must be. So let's get this water in their trough. 
we should easily have enough, but if we don't, no problem at all, we can just fill it up. Yep, that's fine. So that is the chicken sorted. There are a few eggs in there. Or is that a gold coin? This map does have gold coins. Oh no, it's an egg. Our first egg. We've got plenty of chicken coops anyway. So that is those things done. They should be fine for a long time now. We'll leave them to get on. The sheep also, they should be fine. Just got to keep clearing the pallets. Uh, and also the cows, they likewise should be good for five or six days. So we'll put this into one of our stores here, one of our sheds here. We've got quite a lot of them. This Lexian just here is rented. The one in the cow field is ours. And there's resident turkey. Really do like this shed here, which we've got the Stuart trailer in. It's very good use of space. But, although we haven't got too much done today, I think we'll leave it there. We are progressing quite well now. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And please do join me again next Friday for more on Sandy Bay. Bye for now.